So um, we were discussing the other day about how um, when I worked at Smithline Beecham, which is a pharmaceutical manufacturer, it's now called GlaxoSmithKline, uh, or Glaxo Welcome or something like that. But anyway, um, we had back whenever it was 30 years ago, these infrared cameras, and they were for looking uh, at switch gear. And they had 4,000 motors on site in this uh, factory producing augmentin, which is penicillin, uh, uh, amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. Um, the clavulanic acid binds to the antibodies that get produced to attack amox uh, uh, amoxicillin. And so by blocking the antibodies, you can allow the, the amoxicillin to always kill the bacteria. So this was an invention by Smith and Beecham that allowed this antibody to be used multiple times with a person, right? Anyway, they had these four-story fermentation vessels with half megawatt or whatever it was, stirrers or quarter megawatt stirrers and huge compressors. And they had all this high-powered switch gear. And so we used to have this uh, thermal imaging camera, which you needed to put liquid nitrogen in. And we would go around and do what's called uh, condition monitoring. And the idea is that you try and identify uh, electrodes uh, or switches that are f starting to fail before they cause a fire or prevent you from being able to control the motor and turn it off and on and so forth. And so you go around the, the factory and, and just monitor all the switch gears and see if you saw any hotspots. Now the hotspots occur because the resistance is going up and, and typically these uh, uh, switches are sealed. They might not be hermetically sealed in the sense of there can't be any gas ingress or outgress or whatever. However, um, when you look at these switches and when they fail and you open them up, they're covered in black soot <laughs> or they're, 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 you know, they're black or, or they, yeah, they, they, they don't look like nice copper or brass yeah. contacts. And a normal human being thinks it's burning. It's burning. Yeah. Where, but, but, but hold where? on, it's metal. Yeah, and, strange. And where does this carbon come from? You know, it's copper or or brass. How how, how is how is it ending up being covered with this black stuff? Um, and so, you know, w what have we got when we've got these spark with these uh, contacts coming together and and coming apart and coming together and coming apart? Well, you're going to have unless you have it well suppressed, which you might not necessarily want, depending on the situation. You're, you're going to have sparks, aren't you? And you're going to have this surge of current, and and yeah. particularly if you've got a current flowing, and then you pull it apart, you have a, you have a breakdown, a don't you? And, and, you have and this current. is what this book is about. This yes. vacuum arcs. It's all about trying to work out how to learn what sparks are doing and how it damages contacts and so exactly. forth. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, even vacuum switches cause. Uh, I, I read only a few pages, but there was that they do it differently and are sometimes more violently uh, so well we can see it and we we know what's going on there and you can see some pictures in the book that you can see ah i recognize these so what's going on in these switches they didn't know when they were writing this book now we know there is something totally different going on totally new world and you can this start design switches knowing it happens you cannot avoid it and maybe you can find new materials because I know in switches that you like to use silver. Why? Yeah, it's more conductive. Also, when it's ox uh, with, with, oxi uh, the, 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 with oxidized silver is also conductive. But is this the whole reason? Maybe there's something else going on with this transmutation kind of stuff. Maybe that is already a little bit more self-healing than some other things. I don't know. but. These very high power these switches actually use mercury, as we were discussing. Yep, we caused that. You have a mercury switch. In fact, we bought one of these um, mercury yep. switches, which is able to switch, I think, 10,000 amps at high yep. voltage. Yep. And uh, you can see why. It's, it's an amorphous structure. Yeah, and you can um, switch every time again, having the same result. And that's the difference with normal switches. They change over time because the material is being eaten away. In strange ways, now we start to and and, and I think we really are getting to the bottom of it. We have the flower of life, this ball lightning structure yeah. that is able to cons consume at predominantly metals, 
Yeah. Um, but ultimately, it will take an ionic material also, and ultimately, beyond that, it will take anything. It doesn't. Even, um, it doesn't care. But but uh, it, it, if if it's um, if it's looking for free electrons and there's metal around, uh, it's not going to go for the wood. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's 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 going to take the aluminium off a car before it takes the steel off a car, yeah. as we can see in our experiments. The, the yeah. conductive thing is interacted with first, like yeah. like this sample. The conductive thing. The highly conductive thing is vastly more interacted with than the less conductive thing. I, I didn't see iron being eaten away anywhere. Uh, it doesn't like iron. Mm -hmm. uh, it likes to eat away the, the, the tooth from the iron, but not... And iron. what do we know about iron? It's one of the elements that is um, the uh, iron uh, 56. It's already at that minimum energy structure. So if you've got anything yeah. else that you can work with easier, it's like all living organisms um, will tr choose the easiest path to satisfy their needs. Yes. And so if it's, it's the old subject of the, the low-hanging fruit, isn't it? God designed us to be lazy. <laughs> yeah, and that's also called efficiency. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, wh why, why go and climb up to the top of a tree, risk life and limb to get an apple at the top of the tree, yeah. when you can just pick the low hanging fruit yeah. and in an environment where you know the copper is going to give you everything you need or the silver is going to give you everything you need straight away or the yeah. aluminium is good or aluminum for you guys on the cross the pond uh, is going to give you everything you need um why bother going and, and trying to work out what to do with the iron now the iron is playing a role um and yeah, very important yeah role. very very important role and it's not to say that it will not consume the iron it's just everything else above and below it uh, is more interesting. Yeah, well, it, it, it's, it's, it will be interesting to look maybe under a microscope or maybe even the, sim, uh, uh, the electron microscope, what's happening on the surface, like this piece of iron, what, what did happen there? Mm -hmm. Where is, you can see this, here the iron is rusted, here it, it isn't. So the iron, is it changed? What is happening on the surface there? Then you can see if iron is eaten, it, it must be. The EVOs are strong enough to eat the iron. That's not not a problem. But when there is something easier to eat, you can see the plasma hop over the piece of iron. It's like <laughs> I don't know where I. Like, I'm not interested here. I'm not interested here. Yeah, right. Oh, oh there's yeah. the long yeah. hanging fruit, and and it's going there. It's, and 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 maybe it's hopping. Here's a, I'm just throwing this idea out here. If it is this EM 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 structure, if it becomes a if it fl flips to a cluster structure that is not magnetic but more sh expressing an electric field then maybe it's happier going to the uh, diamagnetic materials like the the copper uh, and the brass and the, the copper the zinc the zinc oxides the copper oxides but then it, it maybe it clusters to a certain level and it becomes a, a magnetic structure and then it flies away yeah 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 yep. uh, but of course the balls themselves they appear to be highly magnetic like spherically magnetic yeah um, but, but then why does it wants to choose to move left right why there is or, or maybe there's another cluster uh, another place you cannot see and, and, and they like to be with each other yeah but you, de you you only see the one that's glowing and the rest you don't see but, yeah but it, it it moves like mysterious ways <laughs> and it, it doesn't do you think why when when you see animals or then sometimes, why is the fly flying away right now? I don't know, but <laughs> he's flying away. Yeah. And this is the same thing. It, it's doing st stuff that you don't understand in mere mysterious ways. And then suddenly it doesn't like it anymore and it goes somewhere else. But sometimes after an hour, it comes back again and does the same trick. So it's kind of like, you know, there's, there's a, a field and the goats in the field. Yeah. And there's a weed that's grown on the other side of the field and it's chewing this bit of grass here and it's just really not doing it for it. So it walks over to the other side of the field and it starts chewing the goat, the the, the, uh, the, the weed over there. And, and then that, that's gone. And meanwhile, another weed has grown on the other side of the field. And, and so it moves around. Uh, this is, analogy is, uh, is very good because this is really what you feel that's happening. There is a reason to go there and then later it's, the reason is gone and then... But the reason comes back, maybe in a, through a totally different reason, because of other um, vegetables growing there. I don't know, but... 
But it's also what we've described is where these structures are emitting elements. And I, and I said to you yeah. on the, the images we took yesterday in a one, two second change between exactly. one image and the next, there was a whole structure that grew on, on the cathode. Yeah. And it might be that the, the ball lightning, this, this flower of life is ejecting um, atoms that are then coalescing into molecules or, or lattices yes. or, or whatever. And whilst they're molecules or, or uh, um, atoms, they're not interesting. But when they form a structure that's able to, for instance, emit electrons, it becomes interesting to the exotic vacuum object. And it says, well, there's more electrons being emitted over there. I'm going to get attracted over there. And then it consumes the thing again. That, that must be happening. That, that's not, for so, me, it's not a discussion that it's not, it's something like that. But we don't know what materials are deposited. That's the question. But that it, it must be something like that. It's, it's and it's like you're, you're in a country here, Holland, which it has this great tradition of farming. Yeah. But it, it, every farmer knows that if they work the land too hard, sooner or later, it's going to fail. Now, if you if you can imagine it, these exotic vacuum objects as like farmers, some are maybe synthesizing the things to produce the thing that other evos want. It's like like you're yeah. producing fertilizer yeah. and you then go and fertilize the ground, and then it produces something that the farmer wants to eat. This analogy is again uh, the right one, I think, because it takes a time to produce the goods that it likes to consume later or maybe the objects are different that time, but we can see now in this process, all elements can be produced and it takes time. Like the experiment we're doing right now, it takes time to change. It, get, it gets in more interesting over time. It's all the time. And it this is, is the thing with- There is more yeah. and variation this, yeah. being created yeah. in the tank yeah. and this bigger variety creates more possibilities to do something else and that's the, the problem it's always doing something else and you never can there's never a dull moment uh, also every time you can watch and watch and watch sometimes you can walk away 24 hours nothing happens and then suddenly something new happens and this is what i find in the vega valley when i'm trying to describe how it's it's building the home that it wants for itself it it goes into this raw brass made of copper and zinc. It doesn't really want to be in there because it, let's say it's a magnetic structure and it doesn't want to be in there, but it's trying to influence it. Then when you actually look at these kernels, these sort of golden ratio points, and you look at them under the SEM, it has the most diamagnetic material furthest away from the tip. And it arranges it like carbon on the tip. And then you've got like uh, copper oxides and, and, and then zinc oxides. It's it's like saying the bit that I don't want near me, you're going to go over there. So it gets pushed away from it. But when it's in that channel, it pushes the diamagnetic, it pushes back against the diamagnetic material and it ends up with the diamond or the fluffy carbon tip that is most able to produce the electrons that it wants. And it's literally like coming to a landscape which is rocky and barren and it doesn't have the nutrients. And it's like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, make this landscape work for me. I can start working on it, but you know, this year it may not be very productive. But over a period of time, I can engineer this landscape so that the water's coming in from the stream, which is over there, and, and that's feeding the things that, and it, it becomes the environment it needs to support itself. And Ken Shoulders described exotic vacuum objects as acting in a way uh, um, that, makes them appear like they're alive. They yeah. want things, they organize things, they change things. Yes, and it's like, that's why I like to talk about them. Like, uh, uh, that's why I use the word hiding. Yeah. Because it really behaves like hiding. Don't try to find fancy words for it, like whatever you would like to think about it. It's just hiding, like human beings would hide. or. Would, well, it's true. Like you've got an environment out there, like the big part of the chamber, yeah. which is kind of like it's not conducive for uh, procreation, let's say, or, yeah. or, or for getting work done. It's like you, when, when you have a factory producing a lot of goods, you don't necessarily ha have the factories spread out over 500 miles and each person has to walk 
you know, 500 miles to, to get the next component to assemble it. No, you, you bring everything into a location where everything can be efficiently moved around to, re to construct what you want to yeah. construct. Yeah. And so if you look at what it's doing, it's, it's telling you the natural order of things. Yes, and, and what it, it looks like to be that, that the anode is not nice for the EVOs to be on because it's like the moon, it's nothing there. Dirt, com destruction, whatever is going on. But life is playing in, 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 a, in a different place, hiding from the hostile environment. Sometimes uh, the, uh, a ball lightning jumps out in space and it hops around, and but it disappears again. And then there's actually it, it, it takes, life lessons to learn from watching these things. Yes, you can <laughs> say so. Yeah, it's it's, right. it's it's fun. It's 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 fun to watch them because you see them. So good luck, mate. Like, good luck, mate, on that over at that area over there. You're yeah, just yeah. going to run out of energy yeah. and cease to exist. Yeah, but but sometimes it ha it happens that they jump out and they have. Really they end up starting a new community, like the ants in a, in well, a formicary. They, they, that, they, the queens are born, they send out, and they might find the right crack in the ground to start a new colony. Well, that was uh, kind of an, an analogy again, uh, because I could see them jump out. Or, but you need one but, that's but, the right uh, capability but to I, start the new colony. No, colony. It, it was not even a colony, but he was going out and mm -hmm. eat, because uh, there, there was produced a lot of sooth on on an iron plate uh, and and then after a while it starts actually it was this this sample we will, will probably discuss it later and you can see it's black here and here it's clean again so it was all black and suddenly it starts eating brr, brr, going on out nothing and then suddenly brr, brr, and it, you could see it got clean so it was eating away the sooth but not the iron, it was clean. So it was a, a good way of cleaning. And I think on that note, we will talk about that sample in the next video. So thank you for joining us on this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Hank.